Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Great. Are you having a good weekend? Woo! Yeah. Cool. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for coming out. That's awesome. Um, I'm gonna sit up here because I can see you better. Because I'm short. Like, which turns out is kind of what I sound like. And 
uh, did the thing. And um, about a week later, they called and said, guess what, you get to play Antonio. And I was like, oh, that's great. And thus, I set myself up for three years of playing Little Boys. Uh, but it's great because I, I fit a niche and um, I feel very blessed to have that. Uh, and that it just is kind of, it's close to my own voice. So I, I feel really lucky, but it is, it is an, interesting, uh, an interesting place to be. And that I kind of go in and a couple of weeks ago we were doing something, um, some live action thing, and um, I was working with one of the directors, and he was like, okay, guess what, you're the little boy. And I was like, "Where? Well, I would be surprised if I were. And, uh, and he said, I said, you know, I really want to play a woman. I really do. And he was like, oh, guess what? Um, I think there's like a hooker somewhere in here somewhere. <laughs> and he could be her. And I was like, okay, so somewhere out on the planet is going to be me in some, <laughs> some sort of sequiny top. Well, busting through a crowd going, hey, let me by! And that's about it. And I was like, I'm not very good at the woman thing. He was like, that's why they cast you for little boys. <laughs> so, so that's kind of how it all started. And um, I've, been, I've been really lucky and I've, I've, I've got a chance to, uh, to work up at Funimation pretty consistently. But it, is, it, has been, um, it has been something I could have never predicted happening. You know, I never, I didn't set out to be a voice actor, it just kind of happened. And, uh, and so, here I am, and who you guys are, and sometimes it's still very strange. Um, but I really appreciate you guys coming out, and, uh, and I'm happy to answer whatever questions you have about anything. So, I'll open it up to you. Yes. What was my high school like? My high school was awesome. I had a great time. I went to a high school called Bishop Lynch. It's um, a Catholic high school in Dallas, and it is, uh, it's private, but it is kind of the public school of the private schools. It's, um, it's really, uh, it's co-ed, which is not the case with a lot of the private schools, and high schools in Dallas, and I really liked that a lot. <laughs> um, but they have a great arts program. And I got to do a lot of theater. That was when I did my first play. I was in choir the whole time I was in high school. I was in like five of them my senior year. And um, really kind of got to, because like junior high and when I was younger was really difficult. And I know it is for a lot of us, you know. It was, uh, I was different and I was an artist and I was with a group of kids that I had been with since kindergarten, and there were only like 30 of us. And so it was really, um, it was tough, you know? Kids can be mean, and, and I, I wasn't like them, and I didn't have any sort of real desire to be popular, so I just kind of, I was kind of a loner, you know? And, um, but then I got to high school, and it was great, because I could be myself, you know? And I got to start really exploring what it is that I, wanted to do. You know, I always kind of knew I wanted to be to be an actor and to be a performer, but I didn't know I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to get into it or anything like that. And Lynch really um, uh, helped me figure it out and helped me realize that like, okay, I think I might actually have some sort of talent at this, you know, that maybe I could keep going. And and um, my parents are insanely amazing. They are so supportive of all of this crazy, crazy business. And um, my mother's an artist, and my sister's an artist, and so it's, uh, it's, it's been nice to know that, that they support me in this, because it's a really hard life, you know? I mean, it's fun, it's really fun. And, you know, when we get to come and do things like this and hang out with you guys, that's, that's the best part. And doing the work is amazing, um, but it's hard. You know, and, and being able to um, being able to kind of keep your chin up when when you don't know if you're gonna always like be able to pay the bills and things like that because you know I think a lot of people have a misconception that we uh, we do this for the money. No, <laughs> uh, maybe if there was money we would, but there's just not a lot, you know. And so so we do it because we love it, and we do it for you guys because we know you love it. And that's what makes it so special. Um, but 
but there's not a lot of money in it. The money is like when you get into start doing like film and things like that. That's where you come in. But it's it's not. Um, it's hard. It's rare, you know. So um, I've been really lucky because I, I have a really good support system and great friends uh, who are doing this also. But it's a it's definitely a journey, you know. And you definitely have to be certain that that this is what you want to do, you know. If you can do something else, do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you need anything else? I'm great, Just thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, you said you were in uh, Las Vegas. I was wondering, what were a couple of your favorite songs? My favorite plays? Um, I just finished a production in, uh, I guess, October of um, the play Our Town. Uh, if you guys haven't read it, it is one of the most beautiful, beautiful pieces of dramatic literature I've ever written. It's it's amazing. I love that play. I could have done it forever. Yes. So I uh, I loved Our Town. I did that. I just finished that in October. And then, let's see, um, I played um, That Grace in Judy B. Jones in A Little Monkey Business. It's very uh, high art. Um, I also played Lucy in The Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe. I loved that play. Um, one of the weirder ones was, um, as a 26-year-old female, here, further proof that I play little boys, um, I played Oliver in Oliver, uh, that was, that was a little odd, um, I've done a lot, I've, I've, uh, I love being on stage, I love it, it is, it is, uh, my home, you know, it's where I feel like, I know what I'm doing, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's great, yeah, I think there, let me see if there's any others, um, uh, oh, huh. I work at the Dallas Children's Theater a lot, and I, um, just finished a, <laughs> another astounding piece of art called Giggle Giggle Quack, where I played a giant tap dancing chicken, <laughs> yes, it was, uh, <laughs> it's great, I love children's theater, I love it because, the kids are amazing, and um, we get to uh, we get to bring art to them, you know. And uh, with theater, it's really hard to get uh, our age uh, demographic into theater when they're not accustomed to it, when they don't grow up with it. And so, the greatest thing in the world is having those little biddies in there because then they're gonna love it forever, you know. And we get to do that, and we get to help them and, and show them what's so great about it. So. I love children's theater. I could do it forever. Yes. Uh, this is actually a question about a female role you had. Okay. Uh, I, it's about a cause of dollar. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of times I hear different panels from actors say they only get so much information about a character at different times. Definitely. I know one of the biggest central pieces of that character, Alice, is she doesn't know whether or not she killed her father. Right. When did you actually get to find out whether or not she did? When she did. When she found out. Thank you. Yes. Funimation is really um, good about us taking the journeys with the characters. They don't let us know. I mean, they ask us. They ask us if we want to know, but I never do. I think it makes for much more uh, truthful acting. If you're finding out as the character finds out, you know, if you're, if you're living it with them, per se. Um, and yeah, I didn't find out. I didn't find out about Alice until she did. Yeah. Losing the taco song. Want well, I sing the talker song? Sure. <laughs> okay, let me think for a second. <laughs> okay, okay. Taco, 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 super tasty taco too. The yummiest tacos in the world. Amigo taco. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes, four years of choir. I know, you're astounded. Yes. 